Hello everyone, my topic is Fabrication Tolerant Mark Thunder Interferometer. My name is Aesop Payo and my co-authors are Supra Arya and Supasi Arya, Lightwave Communication System Laboratory, Department of ECE, Nehu, Shillong, India, paper IDP B30. There are nine sections in this poster presentation, namely introduction, defining key terms, applications and significance of Mark Thunder Interferometer, silicon based waveguide characterization, GDS layout of 9 MDI, FSR and transmission spectra obtained for different waveguide dimensions, summary, acknowledgement, and references. Now, let me start with the first section, that is introduction of Max Andrew in the ferrometer MDI. It is a relatively simple device which acts as a building block in silicon photonic integrated circuits. There are two configurations in MDI. First one is balanced MDI, Second one is unbalanced MDI. A balanced MDI can be modeled as a two-port device formed by a beam splitter and a beam combiner connected by waveguide with identical geometries and material properties, which is the seamless way. In order to explain the different levels of interferences, a length asymmetry can be included between two branches that is unbalanced interferometer. And let us look at the components of MDI. The interferometer is um, built with several components. The most basic one is optical waveguide and it is used to make an optical connection between um, other parts. Y branch splitters, it is used to split and combine light and connect the circuit to optical input and output known as fiber grating couplers which connect to optical fibers and finally the laser and detector which is used for the measurements. Here we have some defining key terms. The first one is effective index which is considered when the light is propagating in a guided structure depends on wavelength and the mode in which the light is propagating. Next one is group index. Using this given formula, we can find out the group index where NEFF is the effective index. And coming to the free space, free spectral range, that is FSR, which is defined as wavelength spacing between two adjacent bits, the FSR can be calculated as FSR lambda equal to lambda square upon del L into NG, where lambda, a wavelength in nanometer, NG in group is group index and del L is the part length difference between two arms of MZI. Now let us quickly look at the applications and significance of Matt Zander in the ferrometer. It is used in designing optical switches for modulating light on and off, switches for routing signals on chip or to make optical filters, and high speed modulation is achievable through MZI. In our work, uh, we have done fabrication dollar and MDI. We demonstrate the nine and balance, nine and balance MDI by optimizing the waveguide widths and lengths of two arms in every MDI in search of the best fabrication tolerance. It also allows to achieve a lower process induced spectral shift. And coming to the section number four, that is silicon based waveguide characterization. To find the spatial field distribution of TE mode for different waveguides cross sections, waveguides are simulated using a finite difference eigen mode solver or numerical mode. It can be um, we can see from this mode profile and infer that the wider the width, the more the confinement of the fundamental quasi TE mode. And let us look at these graphs: effective index and group index. Here we have done for 400, 500, and 600 nanometer, and height is fixed for all the cases, that is 220 nanometer for the waveguides. We can see that effective index is decreasing on wavelength increases as wavelength increases, and group index in is increasing as wavelength increases. So we now we can see the layout of fabrication dollar and MZI, which has been designed in a software called K-Layout, which is an open software in 605 and 410 microchip areas using Cybic tool. We demonstrate the design of um, nine unbalanced MZI for silicon on insulator considering waveguides in the strip configuration. So we can see that there are nine MZI, so one, two, three, yeah, but it's nine and one um, simple waveguide to calculate the chip loss. So here we optimize the wavelength width and length of two arms in every MZI instead of uniform 
waveguide width. The waveguides of all the MZIs used in this work have physical dimension of different widths and 220 nanometer in thickness, as you can see from table one, uh, which is a combination of nine MZIs, arms which has been selected for simulation. So, so you can see that we have taken different combinations, altogether nine of them. And what we see here in this section number six is the response of MZI that is transmission spectrum and free spectral range of the MZI for some or configurations. Actually, we have done for all the nine cases, but since we have a limited space, we have just put a few cases. And um, as expected, the number of oscillations in the uh, transfer function or say transmission spectrum uh, which is proportional to the uh, del L param parameter. Consequently, as predicted, the FCR equation, the FCR decreases, FSR decreases with the length and balance. In other words, it can be interpreted that the larger the bar difference, the more the peaks in the spectrum and in the smaller FSR. Also, you can see that this is a graph of Monte Carlo simulation for standard width of 500 nanometer in both arms. Um, we have done uh, five runs to understand manufacturing variability. As you can see, there is a minute difference in spectral shift and our design has been sent for fabrication through multi-mode project wafer purpose. And the process is EPL, that is electron beam lithography. It is a method of fabricating nanoscale structure. It is a direct right approach where the design on the computer is fabricated to the surface and it is very fast and high resolution. So in conclusion, we have done uh, geometry engineering by optimized length and width of waveguide. It has been observed that waveguides are highly sensitive to nanoscale variation. Optical characterization for SI-based uh, waveguide have been simulated to give a graphical view of important parameters involved in this design, such as effective index and crook index. An FSR and transmission spectrum has been studied to find out the impact of spectra, uh, spectral shift. Also, Monte Carlo simulation um, is done to give an idea what kind of variation we expect from the manufacturer. Manufacturing challenges such as variability in silicon thickness, feature size measurement data are dominant factors affecting the photonics devices, performance, matrices, and circuits even after determining optimum device parameters on simulation level. The width and length of the two arms of MZIs has to be have to be chosen carefully to find out the best fabrication tolerance MZI and um, acknowledgement. We express our deepest gratitude and sincere thanks to Professor Lukas Kostowski for his constant guidance and fabrication facility for uh, fabrication tolerance MZI. And here is our references, which we have used in our work. Thank you all.